If the Galaxy Z Fold 7 set the stage with meaningful camera improvements, early leaks suggest the Galaxy Z Fold 8 could double down in all the right places, and then some. Fresh reporting from Galaxy Club indicates Samsung's next premium foldable is poised to borrow camera tech from the Galaxy S line, with notable gains for both the telephoto and ultra-wide shooters, all while keeping the headline 200MP main camera intact. For creators, travelers, and anyone who hates compromising when switching lenses, the Fold 8's rumored imaging package could be a major step toward a truly balanced foldable camera system beyond simply upping megapixels. These rumored changes point to smarter lens parity, reducing the quality gulf that often appears when you leave the primary camera. Expect more consistent detail, cleaner edges, and stronger low-light output from the supporting lenses, which has historically been the Achilles heel of slim foldables. What's reportedly changing on the Galaxy? Z Fold 8 New 12 MP Telephoto with 3x optical zoom resolution is rumored to jump from 10 MP to 12 MP while maintaining 3x optical zoom. This should translate into tighter detail, more forgiving crops, and sharper portrait shots without relying as heavily on digital processing. The module is tipped to be the same unit Samsung may use in the Galaxy S26 Ultra, signaling higher end optics and tuning. If true, Fold 8 owners could benefit from improved contrast, more natural skin tones, and better highlight control in bright outdoor portraits. Expect steadier performance in video too. A modern 1-2 MP3X telephoto typically pairs with robust stabilization and faster autofocus, which helps reduce focus hunting and jitter when you zoom in. That's a big deal for handheld clips and candid moments where you can't R-E-S-H-O-O-T dot big leap to a 5-O-M-P ultra-wide it. Ultra-wide camera could see a massive bump from 12-M-P to 5-O-M-P, beyond headline numbers. A higher resolution ultra-wide can deliver noticeably stronger edge-to-edge -edge sharpness, less chromatic aberration, and more reliable detail in dim interiors or city night scenes with more pixels to work with. Samsung can oversample for cleaner 12MP or 12, 5MP photos, improving texture and micro contrast while keeping noise in check. Expect richer foliage, more legible signage, and truer architectural lines at the frame edges. For video and vlogging, a higher raise ultra-wide should produce crisper wide-angle footage with fewer artifacts under challenging lighting helping the Fold 8 feel more like a one-device content studio. What's likely staying the same 200MP? Primary camera if current guidance holds. Samsung will continue with a 200MP main sensor, focusing efforts on better tuning, computational photography, and color consistency across lenses rather than chasing a new megapixel milestone. The real win here could be refinement, smarter multi-frame HDR, Improved texture rendering for skin and fabric, and more natural sharpening to avoid the overprocessed look. With a well-tuned 200MP sensor, you get excellent daylight, detail, and impressive crop flexibility without always needing to switch lenses. 10MP selfie cameras, and no under-display camera returning the Fold 8 is expected to retain the same 100MP selfie sensors as the Fold 7. While that might sound conservative, Samsung's continued tuning of face detection, tone mapping, and HDR usually pays off in more flattering selfies and cleaner video calls. According to these leaks, the under-display camera isn't returning on this generation. That's not a bad thing for image quality. Conventional selfie sensors still deliver notably sharper, clearer results than current under-panel implementations. Especially in low light, why these camera upgrades matter on a foldable more consistent results across lenses A, 50MP ultrawide, and a higher resolution 12MP3X. Telephoto should minimize the quality gap when switching from the 200MP main camera. That means you can reframe freely zooming in for portraits or sweeping out for landscapes without worrying that your shot quality falls off a cliff. Improve portraits and usable zoom A. 
One 2MP3X telephoto promises crisper teleportraits, fewer edge artifacts around hair and glasses, and more convincing background separation. Daytime zoom shots should look cleaner straight out of the camera. Reducing the need for heavy editing, stronger ultra-wide storytelling, jumping the 50MP on ultra-wide is a big deal for travel. Architecture, interiors, and group shots. You'll capture more texture in stone and wood, better neon in city lights at night, and more faithful geometry at the frame edges areas where ultra-wides often struggle. Better color and exposure matching Samsung has steadily improved cross-lens color science. With upgraded supporting sensors, expect closer color and exposure matching when you switch lenses mid-scene. That's especially important for creators assembling multi-lens reels or short docs on the go dot editing advantages on a big canvas the full form factor excels at on-device editing. Higher quality files from ultra-wide and telephoto make cropping. Straightening and grading on the inner display far more rewarding. With fewer artifacts and more latitude to push shadows and highlights. A. Note of caution. Early leaks can change the source track record is solid, but timing is still fuzzy. The Galaxy Z Fold 8 may not arrive until mid-2026. And hardware decisions can shift before final mass production. Sensor choices lens suppliers, and even naming can change late in development. Treat these details as early guidance rather than lock specs and expect final image quality to hinge as much on Samsung's software pipeline as on the hardware itself. What about the Galaxy Z Trifold sequel? Rumors suggest Samsung could chart a similar camera path for the next Trifold, mirroring the Fold's upgrades for procurement efficiency and tuning consistency. The current trifold shares the Fold 7's camera setup, and if the original trifold continues to sell well, a sequel that aligns with Fold 8's imaging philosophy would make sense. Still, the trifold's future is even less certain than the Fold's, and availability remains limited to a handful of markets. If a trifold 2 appears, a 50MP ultrawide and a 12MP3X telephoto, would instantly make it more compelling for creators who rely on wide establishing shots and teleportraits. Not just productivity and multitasking dot fold now or wait. Need a premium foldable today? The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is widely available and frequently discounted, making it a safe high value pick. Its 200MP main camera is already excellent and for most users, it delivers dependable results across common shooting scenarios. Want the most balanced multi-camera system on a fold? If the 50MP ultrawide and 12MP3X telephoto land as rumored, the Fold 8 could be the first Galaxy Fold where all three rear cameras feel flagship grade. For travel shooters, architecture fans, street photographers, and mobile creators, that's a compelling reason to wait if your current phone can hold out until 2026.